was explained. Ray tracing. In real life, vision occurs when light rays bounce off objects and enter our eyes, with the color determined by absorbed and reflected wavelengths. However, in computer graphics, tracing the paths of all these photons is impractical since only a fraction of those help in our image formation. This is where ray tracing comes in, where it shoots a ray from the camera for each pixel. When the ray hits an object, it traces back to the light. You can see how this relates to the bouncing of a photon in the reverse order, starting from the camera instead of the light source, and in this way, we can ignore all of those bounces that do not end up in the camera. When a ray reaches the light, it shades the pixel based on light properties and object material. If it hits an object in its way, it casts shadows. Additional algorithms refine this simple concept. Recursive ray tracing adds realism by tracking additional bounces for reflective or refractive materials. Distributed ray tracing enhances this, providing softer shadows and blurred reflections. Ray tracing, once niche, is now mainstream thanks to advancements like Nvidia's RTX GPUs, hybrid rendering methods and AID noising, revolutionizing 3D rendering, especially in video games.